Hi, this is John with Performance Plus Tennis. Welcome to our video today. And in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you tennis fitness training that you can do right from home. And this fitness training is gonna comprise of five warm-up exercises, five strengthening exercises, and five stretching exercises that are central to your tennis fitness. And if you stick around until the end, we have a free gift for you access to our free library of lessons on our website. They're gonna help you identify and focus on the key elements to building your game and achieving your full potential in the sport. Okay, so the first warm-up exercise we're gonna do is what I call high knees. And this is a coordination exercise between the arms and the legs where you almost feel like you're running in place, but you're springing up. Spring, 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 spring. Do this 50 times, 25 on each leg to get yourself moving. Second warm-up exercise, we're gonna do side shuffles as if we're recovering from playing shots. So we're gonna start, we're gonna go one, two, three, touch, 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 two, three, touch. 30 of those, 15 touches on each side. Next up, we're gonna do karaoke back and forth. We're gonna go behind and in front, Keep going. Do it for a minute. Next up to get the blood really pumping and get warmed up, we're gonna do what's called power high knees. Static in place, but power up. Thirty seconds on, fifteen second break. 30 seconds again. Last warm up, or what we call standing core rotations. So we're just gonna get our hands out comfortably and just rotate. Loosening everything from the hips through the core, even the shoulders. You can pick the heel up, just rotate. Let's do 30 of those, 15 each side. Next up, we're gonna do static lunges. So make sure that your, your knee doesn't get out over your toes. You've got a nice right angle here, quad that is horizontal to the ground, nice and flat, a straight back leg, nice strong posture, hands and hips. Sink in deep, hold for a minute. And then switch sides. Next up are wall sits, which is a great exercise for your quads. Make sure that you're in great alignment here as well. We do not want the quads to go beyond horizontal. We do not want the knees to extend beyond the ankles. So no knees over the toes. Make sure your back is nice and square and solid against the wall. Hold your posture. And if you have a racket and ball, you can actually just practice some ball control exercises at the same time. Kind of takes the pain away a little bit as you're doing this. Makes the time go by a little easier. Speaking of time, do this for one minute. Take a 30 second break and do two more sets with 30 second breaks in between. Next up, we're gonna go into planks. There's a couple of different ways we can do this. We can do this with straight arms, having the hands right beneath the shoulders. Nice straight back and hold for a moment. You can let your neck relax. Push back on your calves, get a good stretch. That'll also work the shoulders a little bit more. Hold for one moment. Another option, if you have any wrist pain or elbow issues, you can go onto your forearms and do this as well. For those of you who like a real challenge, we can do slow motion push-ups, which I love. So we're gonna to count to 10 going down and count to 10 going up. See if you can get five of those in a row. Once we're done with our push-ups, we can go right down into what we call a Superman pose, where we really get that back working. Hold that for 30 seconds, and then come back into a child's pose to get a good stretch in your back real quick. Kind of counterbalance that move. Go down again, 30 seconds. 
and then child's pose again. Next up, we're gonna work on the abs and we're gonna do crunches. So crunches, feet flat on the ground, knees flexed at 90 degrees, hands crisscrossed over the shoulders, neck is steady and just curl in and hold. Come back slowly. Keep the muscle engaged the whole time until you get flat. Now relax, engage, hold, engage, 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 relax. See if you can get 50 of those in there. And we're gonna finish up with five meaningful stretches that are really gonna help you, beginning with the quad. So we're gonna do a standing quad stretch. So get your weight on one leg, make it nice and solid, make sure you're nice and stable, and then reach down and grab the other quad, and then try to pull it into your glute. Try to keep the knees in alignment. So our knee's not bowing forward, but it's even with the other knee, and try to hold and stretch. This is also building the right leg. Hold for one minute. Come down slowly, switch sides. Get the weight on the left leg nice and solid, make sure you're stable. This would be easier on a court surface or a flat, firm surface, but I think we can do it here on the grass. Reach down, grab that quad, pull it up. Try to keep a nice straight posture and hold. Feels good. Next up, we're gonna stretch our calves. Pretty easy to do, even on a surface like this. We're just gonna turn, put the left leg further behind, nice straight leg, try to push that heel down. Keep your upper body in a nice, proud posture, hands on the hips, a little flex here in the front leg. Keeping a good alignment, good stretch. If you wanna sink into the Achilles a little bit, you can just flex that knee down and you'll start to feel the stretch transfer further down into the Achilles a little bit as well. So that's pretty, pretty meaningful. And then switch. Next up, we're gonna loosen up and stretch the shoulders a little bit, just a couple of arm circles. Nice hug. Try to grab your shoulder blades with your opposite hand. Grab the right elbow with the left hand and pull the hand down the back. Hold for 30 seconds. Then switch. Other side. And those of you who are daring, think you can reach the hands together. Hold that for 30 seconds and then switch. That's a good stretch for the shoulders. So finally, we're gonna stretch out our hamstrings and our glutes by just laying back on the mat and relaxing, grabbing one knee with both hands and gently pulling that knee into the chest as close as we can get it that's comfortable. You should feel a good stretch in the glute muscles. This is also affecting the groin a little bit as well. One minute there and then switch. And now we're gonna go right into a great glute stretch where I'm gonna put the right ankle on the left knee, try to get this nice and square reach for the knee and pull. And you will feel this in your glute. And hold that for 30 seconds. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna rotate this unit to the left and keep the shoulder blades on the mat. And now we're gonna push the right knee towards the left foot. And you'll be working the outside of the hip now. And a good stretch there. Hold that for one minute. Come up, switch, other side. Set the form, grab behind the knee, pull it in, feel that glute stretch, 30 seconds, and then foot down to the ground, push the left knee towards the right foot with the shoulder blades on the, on the ground, feel that outer hip on the left side stretching, and then come back up. And then finally, we're gonna finish up with the butterfly. Some people call this the frog pose or the butterfly. Just relax, let your knees just fall to the outside. Don't force them down. Nice two minute stretch right here. And then finally, we can isolate the hamstrings a little bit. Everything else around the hamstrings is pretty stretched out. So we're gonna tuck the left foot against the right le inner leg, and we're just gonna relax and reach for that foot. And if you can only you know, get down so far, that's fine. But see if you can challenge yourself. Make sure that toe doesn't push forward, but try to get it to come back towards you. And stretch. One minute hold, you can keep reaching a little further as you get deeper into the muscle, and then relax, and then switch and go to the other side. So a quick recap. We did five warm-up exercises, 
five strengthening exercises and five stretching exercises that are all designed to help improve your tennis performance. I hope you really enjoyed this video today. I had a lot of fun making it for you. Please give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you've not done so already, and leave your comments down below and we're sure to get back to you. And don't forget to click in the link in the description below to gain access to our free library lessons on our website, where we present all the key fundamentals that you need to master to achieve your full potential in tennis. And while you're on our website, take a look around. We have additional free lessons. We have a VIP membership, and we also have a Surf Foundation course that has helped hundreds of players like you achieve their full potential and develop a professional quality serve. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.